Hello everybody, uh, this is a, another short recording just to show how to use a media player along with voice meter and bring the playback into a different uh, slider than into the default slider. Okay, so as you can see right now, I've got media player playing and it's just coming through the as a to the default playback device, which is its default setting, of course. And uh, but say I wanted to also bring in a special effect. Uh, and it's coming in through the there you go it's coming in also through the default so I really can't have independent slider control over the music versus the uh, the sound effect so I want to have it coming in here where I've selected an input to the VB virtual audio cable okay uh, which you can also get at the same place you've got voice meter just scroll all the way to the bottom and you'll see the VB cable all right, so let's do it. Go ahead and do that. Turn this off. What you do is you right click. If you're in this mode where you see this, you click on this and you go to more options and then to devices. Okay, and you'll see speakers and hit properties. And this is where you'll change it. If you're in the playlist, let me show you how that works. If you're in the playlist mode, click up here in the same bar, not the top bar in this case, but here, and go to uh, Tools, Options, and that brings up the same thing. Go to Devices, Speakers, and Properties. Now you have your default play, you know, default audio devices, that, what's normally in there. But you come down here and you select Cable Input for the VB Audio Virtual Cable. Hit Apply and hit OK. Now you do have to restart the player in order to make this work because if you'll see uh, right now if I play it it's still playing through here. Okay so let's go ahead and hit start and close. I go ahead and um, Windows Media Player bring it up and we are. So now you can see it is playing through this slider right here. Okay, so now you have control over that and you can use it with the inserts. Uh, if you watch my inserts video with Voice Meter Pro. Now the same trick works with the regular Voice Meter. So if you want to bring it in through uh, sl the second slider, bring in the media player. That's how you do it. So now I have that where I have the music playing in the background with a controllable volume and I can still hear my sound effects coming through as the default since you really can't change the browser's output to anywhere anything but the default output okay so I hope that's helpful uh, that's really all I need to show you in this video and uh, thanks for watching and watch for more videos bye bye